स्पोर्ट्स से जुड़ी किसी भी अपडेट के लिए स्पोर्ट्स तक को सब्सक्राइब करें और हमारे फेसबुक और इंस्टाग्राम पेज को भी जरूर फॉलो करें हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेरी स्पेशल कॉन्वर्सेशन विद समबडी हु इज अ रोल मॉडल फॉर एवरीबॉडी इन इंडिया एवरीबॉडी इन इंडिया एंड इन एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड एज आई सेड एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस इंटरव्यू टू हिम आई कैन फॉर्मली इंट्रोड्यूस हिम एज केन विलियमसन वर्ल्ड चैंपियन नेट मेनी कांग्रेचुलेशंस हाउ डज इट फील हैज इट हैज इट सीट इन how does it feel to finally be the best test team in the world um <clears throat> yeah look it was a uh you know an amazing game really to be a part of and obviously quite a long time coming in, in terms of uh gaps between knowing who were going to play the final and and when that game would eventuate but um it was a uh, yeah a really special game that had everything and was highly competitive and could have gone either way for um each day really and um to get down to that last day with uh obvious the obvious interruptions of weather and and come out on the right side was yeah it was a great feeling and um the team were, were pretty chuffed like you mentioned there's been a, a few close calls over the years but um they were all great experiences and uh yeah really um great to to get across the line Brendan says uh, you know we are all proud of you so Richard Hadley says the greatest moment in New Zealand cricket actually objectively speaking this should be the greatest moment in new zealand cricket your thoughts on that <laughs> um i suppose it's always tough to have a, an opinion when when you're involved um in the match or yeah in that that period of play but um no doubt it's uh, looked upon pretty fondly it's you know our first i guess title i suppose um but having said that i think that you know the most pleasing part and the part that you get the most satisfaction out of is um seeing the team sort of continue to grow and um and adjust and and as we know over the years things always change players change support staff change and um and so that's that's always a challenge every day and um you know there's been a, an element of um improvement over a, a period of time so it's it's great to um to go and and be involved in a major event like the world test championship and and uh and ultimately come out you know as one as as a as a special feeling a different feeling one that we haven't had before in our history and in your case as leader of the team leader of the pack you know batting so well in the first innings staying out there to close out the match must mean special because ultimately being present there when the winning runs are scored and that ecstasy of being world champions talk to me about that particular moment a little bit yeah i mean you know the the surface um throughout the game offered and as we saw there were no um particularly high scores so there was a, a tight balance between bat and ball and um coming into the last day it was all results were on the table and and probably the most likely was um in terms of having such little time left was was perhaps a draw um and then things started to happen um a bit quicker than expected and as we know in England that that's um something that that does happen from time to time and um and for us it was it was nice that we were you know on the right side of of that momentum but having said that going into the last session and and sort of having the chase of 1 140 um although it's not considered a high chase you know with all the context and um uh you know the the match the all these other things it meant that it still felt like quite a long way away so yeah there was an element of um i suppose satisfaction and and finally getting there and uh, you know different pressures that you you were expecting that india would throw at you and and they did that in a in a big way um and just a great feeling to to be there at the end with ross um that basically just to to get the job done as a team was was the most satisfying part I wouldn't lie to you when uh, that uh, Ravichandra Nashwin uh, delivery happened and the umpire gave you out all of us were like yes we <laughs> have a chance we have a chance but then that DRS talk to me about that DRS I mean would you immediately go for it did you think that yes it was close what was the mindset then well I suppose you have to assume it was close because you were given out um, initially but um, I did think because of um the way Ravi turns the ball that you know there might be a bit of a chance so it was nice to to review it and and it go my way it was a good one it was a fantastic uh, deal as to say fantastic deal but uh, king just talk to me a little bit about uh, two questions one everyone said 
because of the fact that the two tests you all had played preparation did you actually feel that you went in better prepared um look it's very hard to know what the best preparation is um but all i can say is that um india were as um competitive and as strong and uh and all of the above as as we were expecting and they're a very much a hard and experienced world class cricket team and um and that is what we faced and and as we know in england and in, in test matches in particular with the duke ball that different things happen at different times and um i think we saw that in the game and it was a, a fantastic game i mean as for us um i suppose it was coincidental that tour was booked in prior to um making the the final of the world, world test um championship but having said that i suppose there it was trying to get that balance really for us because there was three test matches in really quick succession we didn't want um i suppose our bowlers overdoing it in particular so um there was a balance yeah between trying to trying to use uh, well i suppose um have this amount of cricket which is you'd like to think beneficial but but get the balance right so you know there's, there's nothing perfect there's no right or wrong answer but um it was nice to be over there playing against England who are, who are obviously um a very difficult side to beat um and then yeah and then go into the the test championship uh, the second one that i wanted to ask is when on the final day did you start to feel because all of us at the start of the day thought yes like you said that the draw is the most a uh, likely outcome because of the rain and everything else but when was it that you as a team as a leader you started to galvanize the boys saying yes yeah, something can happen um yeah I, for us it was very much about going into the day and um certainly respecting the fact that that every every result was still a, a very realistic option i suppose all different percentages of of chances but um so so playing our cricket and, and trying to do that as well as we could and um commit to what's important to us which is was sort of no different to um the last few days or or even a lot of the other games that you know we we have been playing and and see sort of how the game unfolds because it it can unfold quickly and if the chase is on you can i suppose try and um up the ante if if that opportunity arises but um pushing pushing too hard can can often you know I think see the game get further away from you so yeah, we we wanted to sit in it for a period of time and um and and operate I guess and and it was great that we were able to take some early wickets on that day which um which clearly set up I think more chances of results for for both teams really because then we saw um the indian side you know look to counter attack and try and get runs quickly um you know and there there's that balance isn't it between time um left in the game amount of runs and then the more time left in the game as well I meant clearly um india had a, a fair shot too if if perhaps they got a few more runs quickly um we saw that surface was was definitely offering a, enough to to bowlers to have a, a funny hour perhaps like we managed to have and and all of a sudden the games um right in the balance. So, you know, it was a, an incredibly exciting game. Um I'm sure it was to watch. Um and for us it was, you know, really intense but great to play as well. And what on Kylie Jameson? I mean, what an absolute uh, rock star. I mean, that performance there also in New Zealand against us. Many many are saying Sachin for example says will be one of the best all-rounders the world will see going forward, but incredible maturity and tremendous heart shown uh, right through the test match. Absolutely, yeah. He uh, he's a uh, yeah. He's a he's a brilliant player, and he's he's come into international cricket um, relatively new to the international scene, and and just brought um, his his own attitude, which is a, an amazing attitude. Really, it's a it's a team first attitude. It's wanting to contribute and do his bit um, when and where re- required, and um, and he's done that in a in a huge way, and, and not just with the ball, but with the bat as well. But he's yeah he's been vital for us um so many significant spells that have really gone a long way to um to seeing this team where it is at the moment um but all with a, a huge appetite to learn and to improve and you know still a, a really young guy and um he loves he loves the game um 
but I think his attitude is 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 perhaps the best asset to his game, and and I'm sure we'll just see him improving. Absolutely correct. The other thing that stood out for me, Kane, was the 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 contribution from the team. Even India went in. I mean, when uh, New Zealand was batting, we had uh, eight wickets down, but then that Tim Saudi knock of thirty, the Jameson knock of twenty, and all of a sudden, what could have been five ten runs became a thirty two run lead, and the Indian tail. You all managed to get the last three wickets in four balls. How important do you think mm-hmm. is this multi-dimensional thing that the tail enders have started to contribute more so for New Zealand, setting up <laughs> the game and in a low-scoring game, these runs matter. Yeah, that was um, you know really important for us, and I guess when you have a low-scoring game like we did, and and you get any uh, contribution you know, is is so much more valuable, I suppose, um, relative to the score. So, like you mentioned, you're 20s and and you're hopefully batting with a constant partner at the other end and you you might put on 40 and um, that can can make a big difference. But also seeing that the surface was was quite quite tricky and and I probably um, illustrated that to, to the tail enders as I was sort of battling away. They came out and um, and played with a lot more freedom and, and looked to take the game on and um, try and get those quick runs and perhaps you know if you if you went harder at the ball then then maybe there was an opportunity to get you know whether it was outside halves that went for two or three but you could see the score just ticking over a little bit which um, was was very tough to do um, perhaps more conventionally so those contributions were were so valuable to get that little lead um, in the scheme of what was a, a pretty low-scoring match. The other thing that I really liked about uh, you know New Zealand was the attitude. I mean, somebody like Neil Wagner constantly came, came at uh, Ravindra Jadija, kept coming, kept coming, even if there was a period when India had a partnership together. At no point did you relent. That, I think, was a standout feature of your team. Yeah, I actually, and I actually think um, Ravi played it uh, really nicely and, um, and perhaps was unfortunate to to nick a ball, you know, with that sort of plan. But, um, yeah, it, it, it was really helpful. And as we know, Neil, uh, every time he gets the ball in his hand, he's you're very lucky to get it out, to be fair. He, he just wants to bowl and bowl and bowl and, and really create or set the tone, um, especially, you know, when you're juggling sort of five, five, four, five seamers um, within your attack. And he brings a real point of difference and, um, and you know all those all those wickets on the last day they were all a little bit different but um, all as vital as each other in terms of um, clearly the quality that India have in their side and and the threats that they um, they bring and, and you know that on any given day all of them can can make the difference um, but to, to pick up those wickets and and do it uh, in a fashion that left uh, enough time in the game was was a really fantastic effort by the seam bowlers, perhaps our, our best seam bowling performance um, of the campaign. Uh, Ken, one question which is slightly different. I mean, uh, you know, we are a very emotional country in India and uh, every time the team does well, we sort of uh, go ecstatic, oh, this is the best team that we've had. But whenever there is a loss, we are like, oh, this is uh, a very poor team, etc. You know that, you know that feeling. Yeah. But you've been there and you've also now... You've seen both sides of the coin. You've lost the World Cup to a 2015. New Zealand came close. 19 uh, was a heartbreak. 21, you finally won an ICC trophy. India has come close quite a few times. Uh, a word on that, I mean, because this is an excellent team. I mean, you've made the final. You've pushed the bar. A word on that, because it is important to also appreciate the second best, because in sport, there will be a second best. Um, I suppose in, in sport, when you have tournaments and you have finals, um, you know they're, they're set up often in a way that provides excitement, and it's a you know an opportunity. It's a one-off game, and and you know it, it never really tells the whole picture. And, and as we know, um, this Indian team is a formidable side. Um, they truly are a, a great side, and um, and you know for us, we're we're proud to to have uh, achieved a win in this match, but that takes nothing away from the quality that, that India have in their team and, and how strong they are year in, year out. And um, you, you mentioned perhaps some of the tournaments we've been involved in over the years, as we've seen India have, have won uh, a number, and, I, and I've got no doubt they'll 
absolutely no doubt they'll uh, they'll win plenty plenty more um you know you, you you can you feel the quality every time that you come up against them and um they're very relentless with the ball the, the seam bowling depth that they have is is perhaps the best in the world um you know i probably don't need to mention the spinners they're they're always <laughs> um you know incredible bowlers uh, and and the batting um perhaps needs no mention either because that's always world class but the depth that that has been created. Um, you mentioned uh, you, you speak about the, the emotions, but it's prob- it's the passion I think that that the country brings for the sport. And you know, although I play for a different country, I think we can all appreciate um, having India and the passion for the game. You know, it's a rewarding thing for for everybody that plays the game. Yeah, I mean, I can say this, and uh, even if we've lost every single person I've spoken to appreciates Kane Williamson and his team. That is also a unique thing about India, that we, we love your team and what you bring to the table. That photograph came of you and Virat at the end of the game, uh, sort of hugging each other, that has become viral in the cricket world and tells me about the spirit of sport, exactly why we play sport, what hands down to other generations, what the future will learn from you to champions. A word on that? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's perhaps another thing, um, you know, going into a, a final and, and there's, you know, emotion and, and both teams are pushing and wanting to to get across the line. Um, and you have a, a, a fantastic side like India, but also the way that they're playing their cricket, you know, and I'm sure that's something that the public can really relate to in India. And although it's it's coming off um, second in this one, um, you know, the way they hold themselves and as ambassadors of the game, you know, is... I think uh, an equally special thing to to the talents that they bring. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, it was a, it was a great moment, and you know, going toe to toe, and and obviously, you know, Virat and I've known each other for a long time, and um, and you know, we're mates, and 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 that's always a you know great part of sport as well is that over the years, you you know, you do get the opportunity to to meet people um, all around the world, um, form these uh, these different friendships through you know, different experiences that you've had either together or um, against each other and, and, and often find a bit of common ground and, and share a few common interests. And, and that's, that's quite special. Last few before I let you go again. I mean, congratulations on the achievement. What was the celebration like? I mean, I saw photographs of the team, some of your colleagues, you know, with carrying the base. Uh, uh, BJ Watling will keep it for a couple of weeks. We were reading the stories. Give me a sense of the celebration, what happened that particular night after you won. I uh, see, yeah. I was trying to tell the guys to keep um, just keep calm, and then and uh, but they weren't listening much to me. I think there was a, a lot of uh, um, elation, I suppose. Uh, and look, at, I think there were just a whole mix of feelings and emotions. Um, you mentioned, uh, you know, a number of our past experiences, and there were a number of guys involved in all of those, and then there were some that that weren't, and and so yeah, I think everybody felt a little bit different. Um, for me, uh, I suppose being involved um, in the team as, as a leader, I, I think I still get um, the focus uh, perhaps is, is often on um, the, the, the team as a whole and, and the, perhaps the bigger picture and how it's tracking and, and trying to operate in that space as, as well as you can. So the the, the rewards that, that come or that, that don't, you know, are, are for me byproducts of that but having said that um you know it is yeah it it was a special game and and a really special effort i think by by the team against you know formidable um opponent you know and to to overcome that and and operate in our way um would be yeah the most pleasing part about that day and and to to get the the trophy and things is uh, i guess a a bonus but a, a special feeling as well and and to see the public back home and, and around the world react and positively and, and, you know, we can only hope that through those um, those efforts that, you know, you do help grow the game, particularly in your own country where people, you know, were, were really pleased to see us um, to get across the line and, and encourage, you know, these these guys coming through, guys and girls playing cricket. Um, you know, that's that's kind of what it's all about. You know, it's great to hear this, but how is it? I mean, everybody appreciates you 
calls you ice and you control your emotions but you just won the greatest trophy in world cricket how can you still not get excited <laughs> how can you still control your emotion give me a sense of that and and did you yeah. so did you not celebrate i mean even if you did what was your oh, celebration yeah, yeah. like yes we did celebrate definitely yeah we did we were in the dressing room for a period of time and we um it was it was great actually it was um yeah an amazing feeling when you have the group together and you you're sharing that experience um you know along with you know acknowledging so many other people involved along the way you know I forget that I, over two years isn't it but um you spend looking to to qualify and and over that time you know there's a number of other players we use 22 players and uh, a number of other support staff as well that were all a big part of that and and New Zealand cricket as a whole um so yep yeah, we we definitely celebrated more yeah, that's for sure um and and we had a, a fairly late night too but um i know all the guys were f- were flying back that evening and and looking forward to to quarantine back home and um i'm over in the uk staying here and um with the family which is which is good fun and 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 sort of you know life keeps moving and and focuses keep changing but i know i know back home there's going to be um I think something or one or two things planned and and an opportunity for some of the public to to see the mace and and um yeah it'd be it'd be a lot of fun but great occasion last one uh, now that you've crossed the line another world cup coming in 3 months time the world t20 does it help that the pressure is gone the monkeys off your back yes it's a different format but you now have tasted being world champions you've been there done that does that help Um yeah I suppose we we got asked this question a few times um before uh this perhaps during this tournament or before this game after the last world cups and and yeah it, it is different um in terms of the formats the team even um you know often there are a few members that are involved in all but as we know that the players come and go a little bit with the different formats so it will be different the focus will change quickly um I know the the current team will will really um enjoy reflecting you know over this period of time and there is a little bit of time off or or at least you know a, a mandatory two weeks in the hotel room which you know is is plenty to to sit down and you know and and reflect upon the experiences of the world test championship which you know is is a special one um and then you know shift their focus and and um i think that'll be more the case and i know that's a really great event um exciting opportunity for for all teams and um you know any tournament you're involved in is is a lot of fun and and a, there's a lot of challenges uh, you know that that come and um yeah so we'll change the focus in due time i'll let you go kane but all i will say is can't yeah. wait to see you at the ipl you've been a great ambassador for sport one of my heroes one of the world uh, uh, cricket heroes because of the way you conduct yourself the way you conduct your team the way you play and and i'm glad good people do come first because that's a big lesson for the world at these uh, tough times new zealand will be proud of you but as i said world cricket is proud of you thank you very much for your time appreciate sports se judi kisi bhi update ke liye sports tak ko subscribe kare aur hamare facebook aur instagram page ko bhi zarur follow kare